Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today I am going to discuss a new series of lecture for DevOps profile and it is lecture number 22. The agenda of this lecture is we will know about the Terraform. Terraform is most important infrastructure build tool that enables developer to create and modify infrastructure in a secure and efficient environment. More interesting, when you go for interview for DevOps profile, they will ask more questions from Terraform. So you need to understand it carefully. It is very simple and easy to learn. The person who know about the cloud, Terraform is very easy for them to learn. Very important video from interview perspective. If you are looking job for DevOps profile. At the end, we will discuss the difference between the Terraform and Ansible. Let me introduce about the Terraform. You may be aware of that in past, IT infrastructure was difficult to manage. We had to manage and configure all the hardware and software manually. When the cloud computing is coming into picture, the IT infrastructure management changed and it becomes easy in compared to the past. We can easily configure and maintain the hardware and software infrastructure using code itself. And that is why it is known as infrastructure as code. In short, we can say IAC. So Terraform is one of the example of infrastructure as code. Infrastructure as code is managing the IT infrastructure through code instead of manual process. Terraform is an infrastructure code tool used primarily by the DevOps team to automate various infrastructure tasks. Terraform allows you to describe your complete infrastructure in the form of code. One of the main functions of Terraform is for public cloud provisioning on major providers. There are also some other tools that you can configure and maintain the hardware and software infrastructure using code, but those are specific to that particular provide, provider. Say for example, cloud formation. This is also used for the provisioning infrastructure, but this is a specific to AWS provider. It will not work with other cloud provider like Azure, Google Cloud, Alibaba and other cloud providers. Similarly, we have ARM template. This is a specific to the Microsoft Azure. Other example is deployment manager which is specific to Google Cloud. But the Terraform is one who built and manage the infrastructure across all providers such as Microsoft Azure, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, AWS, Google Cloud, Alibaba, Kubernetes, and etc. So this is a very important tool for building the infrastructure. So now what is Terraform? Terraform is an open source infrastructure as a code software tool that enables you to safely and predictably create, update and improve infrastructure. So basically it automate and manage your infrastructure, your platform and services that run on that particular platform. It is an open source provisioning tool written in a Go language and created by HashiCorp. It uses a declarative language which means what end result you want. You don't have to define uh, every steps of how this automation and management is done. Actually there are two approaches. One is the declarative approach and the other one is the imperative approach. So declarative approach, no need to define every steps and Terraform use the declarative approach. While the imperative approach, you need to define exact steps to execute, 
Next one is provisioning. The provision infrastructure with Terraform. Terraform is a tool for provisioning infrastructure. This is a very important point. Terraform is a tool for provisioning infrastructure. You can provision resources on the cloud. You can provision virtual machine. You can provision load balancers. You can provision storage. You can provision databases and etc. A Terraform tool uses the declarative approach for configuration, allowing users to define and provision infrastructure securely and efficiently. When provisioning infrastructure using Terraform, users create a declarative configuration file that defines infrastructure provider and the resources to provision. The files are written in a HashiCorp configuration language, HCL or JSON. So let's consider you are going to start a project. Okay where you will create some application and you want to set up infrastructure for from the scratch where the application will run. Your infrastructures look like you must have a several servers where you will install the Jenkins or Ansible or Shaf or some other tools according to the requirement. You have decided to use AWS platform to build your whole infrastructure on. First step is go to AWS, prepare infrastructure so that application can deploy over there. So what you need to do? You need to create private network space, create EC2 instances, install Jenkins or Ansible or any other tools that might need to be need for application, set up a security on the servers etc. So once the infrastructure is ready, you can now deploy your required application. So basically there are two tasks. The first one is provisioning the infrastructure and the other one is deploying the application on it. So you might have two separate teams. One for DevOps team for provisioning and other for software development team for deploying. So where does the Terraform is used? It is used for the first part for provisioning infrastructure to prepare for the application deployment. Creating VCP, creating server, creating security, install Jenkins and obviously should be in correct order because of some dependency. Now let's discuss about benefits of the Terraform. What is the benefits of the Terraform? The Terraform supports multiple providers as we, as we have already discussed, such as AWS, Azure, GCP, uh, Digital Ocean, Alibaba, and some other providers, etc. It is very easy to understand language. It is a human readable configuration language which helps to write infrastructure code quickly. Immutable infrastructure means an approach to manage services and software deployment. So Terraform is managing the services as well as deploy the code. It is portability. It is a multi-cloud workflow portability, which means having development and operations workflow that are compatible across multiple IT environments. Reusable configuration. What does it mean? With Terraform, you can put your code inside the Terraform module and reuse that module in multiple places throughout your code. Integration to CI CD. Terraform can be fully operated via API, application program interface. CLI, command line interface, and UI, user interface, which allow organization to easily integrate into their existing CI-CD pipeline. IT service management in, uh, interfaces and version control system processes. So it also uh, supports version control. But Terraform has simple language, which is called SCL, HashiCorp configuration language, which is very similar to 
जैसन नाउ टेरा फॉर्म लाइफ साइकिल लाइफ साइकिल वट डज इट मीन लाइफ साइकिल मीन्स टेरा फॉर्म लाइफ साइकिल कंसिस्ट ऑफ फॉलोइंग स्टेजेस इन इट टेरा फॉर्म इन इट टेरा फॉर्म प्लान टेरा फॉर्म अप्लाई एंड टेस्ट वाइस वेन यू राइट ए कोड यू कैन एग्जीक्यूट इन दिस सिक्वेंस सो वॉट इज इन इट इट इनिशियलाइजेज द वर्किंग डायरेक्टरी विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉन्फिग्रेशन फाइव वेन यू राइट ए कोड एंड सेव इट इन टू अ पर्टिकुलर पर्टिकुलर फाइल डॉट टी एफ फाइल यू कैन पुट एनी नेम सो यू कैन पुट मेन डॉट टी एफ फाइल और वट एवर इट इज सो डॉट टी एफ फाइल यू नीड टू रन फर्स्ट टेरा फॉर्म इन इट ओके टेरा फॉर्म इन इट बाई रनिंग द टेरा फॉर्म इन इट कमांड द टेरा फॉर्म इनिशियलाइज द करेंट वर्किंग डायरेक्टरी बाई ऑपरेटिंग इनिशियल फाइल्स लोडिंग द रिमोट स्टेट डाउनलोड प्लगिंग मॉड्यूल एक्सेट्रा देन द सेकेंड स्टेज इज प्लान सो प्लान इज बेसिकली यूज टू क्रिएट एंड एग्जीक्यूशन प्लान एंड प्रिव्यू द चेंजेस बाई रनिंग दिस द टेरा फॉर्म प्लान कमांड यू कैन चेक what terraform intend to do create or destroy etc whatever it is with this command you can see what will happen next you can check what is going to happen in next the plan command does not change anything in the real infrastructure it will not change it will just give the instruction what will happen in the next you can apply your changes without running the plan steps it's just for checking purpose check before making an action and final stage is apply so when the plan command is run then it will up, you can apply terraform apply so makes the changes in the infrastructure as defined in the plan by running this terraform apply command the terraform will makes a real action means if you are provisioning the hardware or software it will start the action and the sources will will be created on the remote side so real infrastructure by running this command you will see what will be the changes happen just like a plan command and after accepting it you have to uh, accept it yes or no it will it will ask when you run this command it will ask when you said yes then it will start running okay and that deployment process is started okay there is another command called delete command or destroy basically so destroy is used to delete all infrastructure resources so just put the command terraform destroy so for example if you want to remove all the infrastructure which you have provision you don't want then simply you Uh, execute the command terraform destroy so it will uh, de- delete all the provisioned uh, hardware or software whatever it is you have done it okay so i will show you in the demo definitely is i am just giving the introduction of all these things okay so now uh, let's discuss about the terraform versus ansible both are infrastructure as a code terraform and an ansible both are uh, infrastructure as a code both automate provisioning configuration and managing the infrastructure now the question may arise if both are the same then why we will learn terraform why not we will use the ansible yes it's a genuine question but terraform is mainly for infrastructure provisioning tool ansible on the other hand is mainly for configuration tool it follows the declarative terraform is follows the declarative op- approach while the ansible is follow the procedural approach terraform is relatively new however more advanced in orchestration however ansible is more mature so this is all about the introduction of terraform i introduce it usability perspective we looked at what terraform is we also discuss about the provisioning infrastructure using terraform what is the benefit of terraform terraform life cycle and finally we have compared the terraform with ansible 
if you have any question regarding this topic please feel free to put in the comment section on this article i will get back to you at the earliest thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to click the subscribe button please